Hi, it's Legionero back with another video. I would like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and everyone who keeps coming back each time I post a new video. So today I want to take a look at the McCall's spring patterns and um, see what we got. Um, so I won't be looking at every single new release, um, just a few of them, um, because they do release accessories and crafting patterns and different things like that. But these are just some of the things in the new collection. So first up, we have McCall's 8475. This is a women's, Mrs. and women's dresses. Evening gown dresses for Mrs. and women's sizes 10 to 28 women. Dresses have curved empire and princess seams, baby hem, strap or racer back style and invisible zipper closure. You see dress is floor length with train and the sewing rating is average. All right, so here's the dress. It is a lovely dress. I I like this one. Um, it's very nice. I like this one as well. Um, it's nice. All right, and again, for the sake of time, I'm not going to read the suggested fabrics. But here are the suggested fabrics here on the back. And like I said, it goes as up, it goes as, ah, it goes <laughs> from sizes 10 to 28 women. <laughs> oh, great. Um, I like the dress. It's very nice, but it's one of those ones that I would just be buying just to put in my stash. Um, and the drawers of my stash are getting kind of tight. So, <laughs> I probably won't get this one. It's maybe, but if I get it, it'll just be something that I put in my stash. Um, I doubt that I make it anytime soon. And here are the line drawings for the front and back of the pattern. Next up, we have 8483 women's tops and skirts. It also comes in misses, and that number is 8482. So it's a crop top, has short or long puff sleeves, and high neckline with elastic at sleeves, waist and neck. View B top includes a sash. Pull on asymmetric tiered skirt comes in two lengths, and the sewing rating is easy. Right. I think it's very unique. Um, I like the tiered skirt. I like the top as well. Um, I will probably want to lengthen the top a little bit. Um, if I were to get this pattern, I think this is a really, really cute skirt. Um, I said I wanted to make something tiered, whether it's a dress or a skirt this year. Um, I don't know why I'm on that kick, but <laughs> right here are the suggested fabrics here. And um, this pattern goes from 20 women's to 38 women's. And I'll look at the other pattern to see the sizes that um, that pattern goes up to. And here's the Mrs. Um, version 8482. So let's check out the sizes that the pattern goes up to. And I'm going kind of fast with that. All right. And this one goes up from sizes 4 to 20. All right. I think I actually think I'm going to pick this one up. It's a little different for me, but I think I'm actually going to pick it up because I want to, like I said, I want to do something tiered um, for this summer. And here's the line drawing. 
for each of the views. So I think I'm going to pick this one up. Next up, we have 8491. This is a vintage 80s. All right, is Vintage McCall's 1980s unlined jacket sewing pattern. Unlined jacket A or B with seaming, has extended shoulders, shoulder pads, notched collar, long sleeve. Um, it says no wrong side of fabric will show when sleeves are rolled up. Upper patch pocket, front welt pockets, top stitching and machine stitched hem. Jacket A has drawstring and back casing. Authentic vintage reproduction and the sewing rating is average. Um, I have been noticing with fashion that um, these shoulders are coming back. Well, they got a lot of suggested fabrics. Here are the suggested fabrics on here. And Looks like the pattern goes from 8 to 16. Um, I probably won't pick this one up um, because I know I won't make it. So, but if you're into 80s fashion, this would be a good pattern for you. And here are the line drawings. Next up, we have 8474. This is a Mrs. Jacket by Melissa Watson. Melissa Watson for Palmer Pletch Jacket has large front pockets with flaps, front button closure, back yoke, and long two-piece sleeves with buttons, making an outfit with the matching pants, um, McCall's 8473, and the sewing rating is average. All right, this is a nice jacket. I like it. I think I might add it to my stash. I think it'd be really cute. I got that fabric I got from Hobby Lobby that kind of looks like this. It's a it's a duck canvas, and it kind of has like um, looks like it's wrinkled. That might be the perfect fabric for this. Yeah, that's an idea. All right, I like it. What do you all think? Think it's cute. Um, that fabric with some good top stitching. I think it'll be super cute. All right, and here are the suggested fabrics here, and the sizes go from 8 to 26. And here are the line drawings for the front and the back. I like it. I think it's cute, and I have that fabric in there that probably would be a good fit for it. So I think I'm going to pick it up. Next up, we have 8473, which are the Mrs. Pants by Melissa Watson. Um, this, these are the matching pants that go with the jacket we just saw. Um, let's see, pants have a fly front zipper, back yoke, pockets and belt loops, make an outfit with the matching jacket, um, McCall's 84.74, and the sewing rate rating is average. Right. Let's see, good pants pattern. I don't think I have enough fabric to do the jacket and the pants, but I don't think I'm going to pick up the pants pattern um, because I don't think I will make them. All right here are the suggested fabrics here, and the sizes go from 8 to 26. Um, they're a nice addition to the jacket. I just don't think I'm, I'm going to pick it up because I probably won't make them. All right, and here are the line drawings for the front and the back. Next up, we have 8476. This is a Mrs. Dress. Easy to sew knit bodice dresses with contrast skirts in sizes 6 to 24. Ankle length dresses have neckline variations, elastic at the waist, and side pockets. We love some pockets on a dress. <laughs> These are cute. They're cute dresses. I 
this is a maybe for me, I think. Um, here are the suggested fabrics here. And it goes up from 6 to 24. So yeah, this is a maybe for me. This goes in the maybe pile. We'll see when we get to the store <laughs> how we like it. Whenever a sale happens. All right, and here are the line drawings for the front and the back. I do like how they use different fabrics um, with this version. So it definitely goes in the maybe pile. Next up, we have 8477 Mrs. Shirt Dress. Drop shoulder shirt dress has double yoke, top stitching, length and sleeve variations, and optional sash. And the sewing rating is average. It is a cute dress, but I have so many shirt dresses in my stash. I don't think I need to add another one. But I do I do think it's a cute dress and the shirt dress is another thing that I said I wanted to make <laughs> this year. Um here are the suggested fabrics, cotton. Oh, I said I wasn't reading suggested fabrics for time's sake. <laughs> but here are the suggested fabrics and sizes go from 8 to 26. Um I think it's a cute dress. But just because um, I have so many shirt dresses in my stash, I'm not going to pick this one up. But let me know what you think about it in the comments. Um, I do think it's a very cute dress. And um, I can see a lot of different beautiful um, fabric patterns, um, especially for summer and spring. And here are the line drawings for the front and the back. Next up, we have 8478 Mrs. Corset Top. This is a figure flatting and fitted corset style crop tops. Have front button closure, square neckline, and top stitching details. View B has faux pockets. Huge. I actually think this is cute. Um, I know in the past I've said I don't really like um, a corset top, but this is cute. I like it. I like it. I might actually pick this one up. I can see this in a denim fabric and then some denim, whatever you want to make on the bottom, whether it's pants, skirt, um, shorts. Uh, I see this as a really cute spring outfit, especially in some denim fabric. All right, and here are the suggested fabrics here. And the sizes go from 6 to 24. So, yeah, I think I'm going to pick this one up. I'm not going to partake in the crop top, <laughs> but I definitely like View C. All right, and here are the line drawings for each view. Next up, we have 8485 men's knit tops and shorts. Um, three button placket and self collar polo design tops have a classic look and feel. Pattern includes shorts with elastic waistband, piping trim, and contrast options. The material is stretchy to ensure that you can play in comfort. Fans of tennis, pickleball, and golf alike should seek out this design. And the sewing rating is average. All right. I was when I first saw it before I saw the tennis racket, I was like, this is a good tennis outfit. <laughs> All right. Um, so it's a nice men's pattern. Um, if you sew for men, this will be a, a you know, if they like this type of thing, if they play play those sports that were mentioned or other sports, or they just want a relaxing spring summer outfit. I like how it can be color blocked. All right. um, here are the suggested fabrics and it goes from sizes 34 to 52. 
So I got cut off, I'm not sure where, but here are the line drawings for the pattern, um, the front and back. All right, next up we have 8486, men's shirt and shorts, a matching shirt and short set for men, sizes 34 to 52. Button, front shirts have collar and come in short and long sleeves with cuffs. View B has front pockets with flaps, pull on shorts and elasticized waist with drawstring and pockets. View C shorts have side slits and the sewing rating is easy. Um, let me know what you all think. You all, you all know I don't really, well, not even say really. There are some men patterns that I will pick up like a bomber jacket or, or Norris, um, Norris patterns. Um, but I don't usually pick up men's patterns. But for mommy, I see her making daddy a linen outfit. However, they will be pants, not shorts. <laughs> and as she's watching this, she's going to be giggling when I say that. <laughs> but I think this is a nice outfit for her. Um, get some nice linen fabric and she can make um, honey, as she calls him, a linen outfit. All right, here are the suggested fabrics here. And the sizes again go from 34 to 52. All right, and here are the line drawings for the front and the back. Next up, you have 8481, Mrs. Knit Tops and Skort. Stylish pickleball or tennis ensemble. Tops have three button placket and collar, optional contrast and purchase stretch, um, piping or trim, scored with elastic waistband, have purchased stretched piping or contrast at the bands. And the sewing rating is average. Again, another sporty outfit. Um, if you like those sports, you can grab that and make this outfit. However, I do like the skort, so I will probably pick this pattern up um, because I like the skort. I remember wearing skorts back in the day. <laughs> That's a nice shirt, too, as well. And don't sleep on the shirt. The shirt is a nice shirt as well. Um, so I definitely think I'm going to pick this pattern up. because I like a good skort, and this is also a good shirt. Right, here are the suggested fabrics here, and they go from sizes 8 to 26. And here are the line drawings for the front and the back. Next up is um, M8493. This is a Mrs. Mitt tops and skirt pants and shorts i love a good pattern that has everything <laughs> all right vintage mccall's 1970s quick and easy tops skirt pants and shorts sewing pattern tops have extended shoulder line a has sleeve bands and drawstring and waistline casing views b c d and e have turned up sleeves B, C, and E have drawstrings and lower casing. D or E with cow collar have pockets and uh, side seam openings. Skirt has elastic in waistline casing. Pants or shorts have elastic in back casing. Authentic vintage reproduction. And the sewing rating is very easy. Oh, get out of the way, honey. <laughs> all right i like this pattern i like it i like it all right here are the suggested fabrics here and it goes from um, extra small to large. I'm not sure if it goes up any further than that. If it does not, 
I won't be able to get this pattern, but I like it. <laughs> um, so hopefully they have um the um bigger sizes. Well, oh, let's see. Oh, not on here they don't. So we'll see how it goes. Um I don't know. <laughs> I might not be able to get it um just because of the sizes, but I do like this pattern. Oh, and here are the line drawings for the front and back views. Next up, we have 8492, another vintage 1970s. It's a Mrs. Dress or Top. This is vintage McCall's 1970s dress or top sewing pattern. Pullover dress or top front is gathered into front bands, which fold back to form collar. Short sleeves with gathered cap turn up to form cuffs. Uh, dress B has purchase belt. Authentic vintage reproduction includes additional sizes and cutting layouts. And the sewing rating is easy. This is really cute. I, I like that a lot. Um, the dress is cute. The little short dress I think is really cute as well. Um, I probably won't make it, so that's probably why I wouldn't pick this pattern up. But I do think that um, it's a very, very cute pattern. I especially like this top and this dress. But I don't think I'll make it, so not sure if I'm going to pick this one up or not. Is that the only two <laughs> pictures it's showing me? Okay, it's not giving me a, a back view for the sizes. All right, and here are the line drawings. Next up, we have 84 at 79. This is a Mrs. Wrap skirt. Asymmetric wrap front skirts with pocket variations. Have fly front zipper with button closure and adjustable strap. Views B and C have front Pleats and the sewing rating is average. All right, it's a cute skirt, um, but I don't think I will make it, so I probably won't pick this pattern up. But I do think it's a really cute skirt. I do like this pleated pocket here on the side. I think it's cute. I like this as well. I think this is really cute. Right here are the suggested fabrics here, and the sizes go from 6 to 24. Um, I do like the pattern, but I don't think I will make it, so I'm not going to pick this one up. And here are the line drawings for the front and back views. And next up we have 8480. This is a Mrs. Skirt in three lengths. Fly front skirts have seaming details, back yoke, pockets, and length variations. UC skirt has high-low hem, and the sewing rating is average. I think it's a cute skirt, but I doubt that I would make it. Um, but I do think it's a very, very cute skirt with the fly front and the pocket. I like this um, shorter version of the skirt here. This would even be cute as just like a straight skirt if we took those off and just made it like a straight um, skirt. It'll be cute. Right. Here are the suggested fabrics here. And the sizes go from 8 to 26. And like I said, it's a cute skirt, but I doubt that I will make it, so I'm not going to pick it up. And here are the line drawings for the front and back views. All right, and last but not least, we have 8484 Mrs. Pajamas. 
oversized tops with collar and front button closure have short or long sleeve options pants and shorts have ribbon trim purchase piping trim and elastic waistband and the sewing rating is average all right nice pajama set Um, I think it's a cute pattern, but I just haven't gotten into making pajamas yet. I've made pajama patterns, but I think I made them more for like a Dragon Con style outfit because they're comfortable. But I haven't got into making um, this type of pajamas yet. Here are the suggested fabrics here. And the sizes go from extra small to double XL. I think it's a nice pattern, but I know I wouldn't make it, so I'm not going to pick this one up. And here are the line drawings with the front and back views. You can do a lot with it. Um, you can color block, mix and match different fabrics. Um, fabric patterns, I mean, mix and match fabric patterns like they did. Um, here and here all right um that's it for McCall's there are a few I want to pick up not a lot of them um, just a handful um, these are um, not the whole collection there are some um, kids patterns some accessory patterns um, some doll patterns um, so they, they did release um, a couple other things with the collection as well. Um, but there's only a few that I think I'm going to pick up. Um, this one didn't blow me away. All right. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you plan on picking up any of these patterns um, when there's a sale. Um, let me know if anything in the collection blew you away. All right. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video and I'll see you in the next one.